Hey, welcome back. Ready to make some sawdust? This week I'm going to show you a quick way to make accurate dados with a router. It just takes a jig. I already did some of the prep work for this. These pieces are two and a half inches wide. And then let's see, these are just under five and a half inches wide. I wanted just less than three inches here. And that'll actually get trimmed up further with the router itself. Uh, this will end up getting glued to the rails, and then this one will be able to slide back and forth. It'll all make sense in a minute or two, but the next step is actually to cut some slots in either rail quarter inch wide, and I'm going to do that at the router table. After cutting all the way through with the quarter inch bit, I swapped it out for a half inch bit and I'm going to make just one shallow pass along the bottom. Before glue up, there's one more thing that needs to happen, and that is to trim this to the perfect width with the router. That'll make this jig specific not only to this router, but this 3 8 inch bit that I'm using. Time for some assembly. So one of these gets glued down, but the other will just get a couple holes drilled in it so that it can slide with the bolts. Right, I want to get this as square as possible. Yeah, I think so. Alright, those two holes should slide onto these bolts. And then I can slide it open and closed. And then with the washers and the knobs. I can lock it down to the width that I need. Okay. There's a piece of plywood. Oh, too tight, too tight. Lock it down, lock it down, then run my jig through there. Alright, that's all there is to the jig, and look at that. That's a good fit. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name's Kaylin Kennedy. Hope to see you back here next Friday. 
Have a great weekend, and as always, get out there and make some sawdust.